Alright guys, it's Eugene from Kata's here. I'm currently working from home because uh, of COVID. Hope you guys are all safe and wishing you an awesome 2021. Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to update your Tone 2's uh, firmware. So there are actually three parts to the Tone 2's software. The first part is the DFU tool here, which is actually the uh, device firmware upgrade tool. So this tool will help you load a new firmware into your Tone 2, okay, Tone 2 Pro. And then the second part of the software is the actual firmware package, right? And the third part of Tone 2 software is the, um, how would I call it, the device tray, like the Kadas audio dashboard, right? So if you have a Tone 2 plugged in here, you're going to see it here okay so in a moment I'm going to show you where to find all these software okay so we just go to dl.cutters.com and under products you click on tone 2 okay so all the DFU tool the latest tools will be here so this one is for Windows uh, this is for Mac OS I'll show you how to flash using a Mac computer later and the latest firmware packages will be here of course uh, we've not uploaded one yet and finally the Kata's audio dashboard is in driver over here right so Kata's tone driver 2.1 meg so these two are the same they're just a different uh, alias or a different link okay Alright, so the first thing to upgrade your Tone 2 Pro is you got to open the DFU tool. And then you got to plug in your Tone 2 Pro. So you want to plug this into the first USB port, the one on the right hand side. So you'll see here, device opened. Okay. Then you click browse. There's uh, no click and drag, unfortunately. You see, yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, so you gotta click on browse firmware. So it's version one firmware, and you can actually see that my tone two is having the same firmware. But for this demonstration, we'll just flash it again. It's no harm. Okay. Okay, there you go, firmware upgrade finished successfully. And since my Tone 2 Pro is plugged in, you'll be able to see it in Kata's audio dashboard. There we go. So, Tone 2 Pro version 1, so you can check the firmware here and see about version, about the ASO, ASIO software. Okay, so all's good, and uh, let's go to Linux and macOS now. Okay, so over here we're in a Ubuntu in Linux environment, and you want to go to github.com slash kadas slash utils. And what we're going to do is just clone this directory. So you open terminal, type git clone, copy the URL, uh, dash dash depth equals one because it's just the top folder and we just have to wait for it to unpack the objects okay so cd into the utils directory which you just cloned sudo dot slash install and this will install the tone burn tool so uh, but now we need to get the firmware package so again, just copy the link address because, after all, this is Linux. wget package address download. 
Okay, now it's downloaded. Tone Burn Tool dash I with the firmware package name. So what's happening now is that the Tone 2 Pro, which is plugged into the Linux computer, is restarting to enter into the DFU mode. So DFU is Device Firmware Upgrade Mode. They're transferring the image and returning the device to standard application mode. Okay, here we are in the Mac environment and I have the tool and the firmware already on my desktop. Show you where to download them from. So go to dl.cutters.com and products tone to DFU tool and the macOS tool is the third one on the bottom. And of course the firmware will be in the firmware directory. Okay. So it's pretty easy, you just go to dots.cutters.com, how to upgrade firmware, scroll to the bottom and you'll see how to upgrade on Mac OS. Okay, so the first thing is we gotta make the tool executable. So open terminal, cd2 wherever you have the tool, type chmod plus x, followed by the name of the tool. And there you go, it becomes an executable file. Okay, so the next step is to look at the next command we have to type in. Right, so here we see type in dot slash name of the tool dash dash download followed by space and drag the firmware file in. So dot slash tone dfu tool mac os dash dash download and drag the tool in. Okay, so on macOS Big Sur, there's a security thing. So go to mm -hmm. System Preferences, click on Security and Privacy, then press Allow Anyway. Quit Preferences and try again. And oops, DYLD library not loaded, so we've got to check the docs. Scroll down see that uh, if it's not loaded we have to install libusb and you got to do this using homebrew so homebrew is like a missing package manager for mac os x right so it says paste that into terminal to install homebrew uh, so we see that's a little copy icon on the right okay Type in your Mac password, press return, and Homebrew is installing. It's going to take a while, so I'll fast forward the video. Okay, at some point it might hang, so press activity monitor, and uh, you see that Git is running. So it's still working and we just got to wait a little longer for it to install. Okay, so Homebrew is successfully installed. So now we just follow Kata Stocks, Brew install, libusb. Okay, that's done, and now we should have no more problems. So go back and reload that command, press enter. So this looks very similar to Ubuntu Linux because uh, Mac OS X is actually Unix and Linux is based on Unix. Alright, so they share a common heritage. Okay, so firmware is now transferring to the Tone 2 Pro and the device has been returned to application mode. Okay, so that's it. That's how you install from uh, Windows, then Linux and Mac OS X. So you should be all covered and everyone should know how to flash their Tone 2 Pro firmware.
Thank <laughs> you.